Resetting Preferences and Settings. Before starting, you will need to reset your Vectorworks preferences and the Smart Cursor settings. Resetting these will guarantee you have the same settings used in this guide. Select Tools, Options, Vectorworks Preferences. Click Reset in the bottom left corner, then click Yes to confirm the reset action. Next, select Tools, Smart Cursor Settings. Click OK to the Did You Know dialog box. Click Reset in the bottom left corner, and then click Yes to confirm the reset action. Finally, click OK to exit the Smart Cursor Settings dialog box. Creating a new document. When creating a new document, Vectorworks will ask if you want to create a blank document or use a document template. Vectorworks comes with a selection of template files. A template file has various predetermined characteristics. It is a useful time saver to create and evolve your own template files. For this section, we will start with a blank document. Select File, New. Select Create Blank Document, and click OK. Page Setup. Next, we will go through the Page Setup options. The Page Setup options are accessible by going to File, Page Setup. Here, you can establish the size of the paper and select a printer. The printer does not need to be selected now if you will be printing from a PDF, which is the recommended practice. You will want to set a sheet size that is the same size on which you plan to print. Let's establish an architectural size D sheet, 24 by 36 inches. If you are not connected to a plotter, you will have to check Choose Size Unavailable in Printer Setup on the top right and then US Arc D from the list. Select File, Page Setup. Check the box for Choose Size Unavailable in Printer Setup. In the Size list, choose US Arc D. Make sure Show Page Boundary is checked. Uncheck Show Page Breaks and click OK. Note. Showing breaks will clutter your drawing area with division markers likely dividing the 24 by 36 inch pages into 8.5 by 11 inch chunks. Units. This guide will show both imperial and metric units. However, in these videos we will only mention the imperial units. Please refer to the Spotlight Getting Started guide for metric units. You can set your preferred units by going to File, Document Settings, Units. Choose either feet and inches or millimeters from the units list. Organization. To set up the layer and class structure for your document, select Tools, Organization. In the Organization dialog box, you will see multiple tabs allowing you to create and modify classes, design layers, sheet layers, viewports, saved views, and references. Here, we will only discuss design layers and classes. The design layer is the basic level of organization. Think of layers as sheets of vellum on a table. Architects use layers to distinguish floors of a building. Many theatrical designers create layers for the theater, the set, the light plot, and the sound plot. Each design layer can be set to different Z elevations. Now, let's set up the design layers for our file. Select the Design Layers tab, select the default design layer, Design Layer 1, and then click Edit at the bottom. In the Edit Layers dialog box, rename Design Layer 1 Theater Architecture. Click the Scale button and set the scale to half inch equals one foot and click OK. Now click New to create another design layer. Name this design layer Audience and click OK. Now, use the same procedure to create the following design layers. Soft Goods, Scenery, and Light Plot. Note, the scale should automatically be set to half inch equals one foot for the new design layer. Make sure all layers are set to half inch equals one foot. Switch to the Classes tab in the Organization dialog box. 
classes are used to assign graphic attributes and to control visibility in the drawing and when creating viewports for presentation. Classes can be used for objects on different layers. Vectorworks starts by giving you two classes, Dimension and None. Classes truly allow full use of Vectorworks and, as a best practice, no object should be drawn without having a class assigned. Now, to create some classes for our file. Click New on the bottom left, name the class Theater-Walls, and click OK. Now, use the same procedure to create the following classes. Theater-Proscenium, Theater-Stage Floor, Theater-Seats, Scenery-Walls, Scenery dash ramp, scenery dash columns, soft goods dash main, lights dash instruments, lights dash positions, and focus point objects. Finally, click to save the new design layers and classes. Note, the navigation palette is a quick way to view, create, and modify design layers and classes.